All right, everyone, welcome back. My name is LC, and today we're here with some more DC Heroes and Villains news. Today, we got a new update about a next update in the game coming fairly soon. Very, very soon it is a Halloween Battle Pass update. So we're starting right away. It says, hello, Heroes and Villains. We're back with a minor update for DC Heroes and Villains. Unleash the Darkness with a new Battle Pass season start starting October 11th. Ooh, nice. Featuring new characters like Scarecrow, King Shark, and Bane. PvP Assault has been revamped for an immersive experience, visual upgrades to the event section, and bug fixes. So first off, I just want to say I predicted this a little bit, and I'll tell you why. It's not a prediction much so, but it's more of a, like, a premonition, if you will. Because if you guys were there in, like, my last, like, two videos, maybe three... One of them was, like, heavily character thing. I was like, um, okay. The character I want in the next game, in, like, the next update, would be Bane. And I was like, okay, as for a villain character who would come first out of the list, it was Bane. And I was like, all right. And now I was seeing this, I'm like, okay, I kind of predicted this a little bit. Like, I kind of saw it coming. And I'm not going to lie to you. Bane looks sick. If I, can I zoom it in? Hold on. Let, let's see. Oh, I can't zoom it in. What? Oh, man. That, I get, never mind. I can't. Bane looks like this. Like, this is like his iconic pose, but like this looks sick. Everyone else looks sick, looks sick, looks sick too. But Bane looks freaking awesome, dude. Like I tell you, the R team always knocks it out the park. Like and at this point, it bothers me. It really does. But um, same for Scarecrow too. I I forget what video it was, but it's like he would look sick in this game too. I don't know like what design they would go with, but this one looks really really nice. Like it's like a. Uh, he, he generally looks like a scarecrow in this. Like, he has the hay and everything. But also, like, you can kind of see the humanity to it. But also, like, it's, it's a mixture of both, in a way. King Shark looks good to me. King Shark... You can't really miss with King Shark because he's a very simplistic design. But, like, I, I like that, like... <sighs> He, he, to me, he's kind of combined with, like, the CW version and, like, the, the Suicide Squad version. Because, like, he looks, like, rough, but also, like, <laughs> like a teddy bear at the same time. But, um, but yeah, new characters part of the Halloween Battle Pass season. Scarecrow, King Shark, Bane. Um, I'm guessing, I think maybe all these guys are four-star. That would make the most sense because we got two five-stars not too long ago. So, the rest will be four-stars. That makes sense. And, honestly, that's a great thing, right? Because in this time span of, like, this update, like, let's say it's in like a month, right? This is like a month time span, I think, at least in my mind. Um, that's five characters released, releasing, right? That's pretty, that's a nice, reasonable thing to have, I think, right? It's five characters per two updates that, not like per, like, individually, I mean, like, all together, like, those two updates is five characters each, five characters in those two updates. So, I think, I think that's cool. I think that's good. That's a nice, like, settlement, as long as it's in that, like, you know, that month month and a half ish time span i think that's okay but yeah that um that I really like that because i thought it was gonna be like two and i was like um i don't know like if the rate of releasing characters like that slow is gonna be beneficial but it seems they they they, they look they listen to the to the feedback and everything so i i love that now about the features pvp assault has been tuned up to give players an engaging experience improved mac improved matchmaking my gosh <laughs> improved defense layout okay better reward from the shop offers i love that i love to hear that improved ui to communicate defense layout hmm wonder how that's gonna work improved defense team recommendation okay all right that's 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 nice that's a nice fix i like that Guild's minor sound effects added to guild screens. Okay. Events, visual upgrades to our event banners and differentiate challenge types. Hmm. I feel like Hmm, visual upgrades to our event banners. I feel like there's are they changing the art around a little bit? Like when you go into like the events and stuff? Interesting. Um okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's honestly fine. Balancing changes. For challenges, the recant the recant challenge rewards have been updated to reflect difficulty. Okay, a bug was fixed and turn count limits have re re returned to events slash challenges. Jeez, that is something. Now for the bug fixes. Oh, there's a lot of bugs. Okay, let's get into it. Um, fixed bug where players were losing their battle pass progress. That didn't happen to me, but like if that happened to you, let me know. Actually, I did not know about that. Fix the rewards for PvP, especially for later later levels. Honestly, I haven't played PvP much. Not because I haven't. Not because I don't want. Not have it. Not because I don't want to. Um, it's just like I just like I just I got preoccupied with other stuff. <laughs> That's why. But honestly, the rewards for PvP is actually, is actually really good. So I should really get back on that. And I do have some news for you guys concerning the game itself. But stay tuned. Um, fix the bug for players who are getting stuck on the battle with autoplay turned on. Did that happen for me? I feel like something like that happened. No, no. 
I had a bug where like you just I couldn't like tap the screen and like I just couldn't even press autoplay or anything. Uh, fixed rate issue where some users were getting soft locked on the reward screen when getting a soft network interruption, sort of network interruptions during the end of raid. Fix the red dot notification that was stuck up there. Okay, yes, thank you, thank you. We fixed red dot issues on quests, challenges, and after after being completed, as well as good. Thank you. Yeah, because the red dot was just permanently there, and I was like, yo, <laughs> I be thinking like someone's trying to like text me something in the guild group chat. Like I unlocked something new in my profile, and it would not be anything of the sort. Nothing would be changed. Nothing new. Just it was just there. So I'm glad they fixed that. Fixed issue where some players, some players were player. <laughs> fixed issues where some players were a player level in the main screen was different from the level in the player profile. I did not know that. Dang. Okay. That, that, geez. Fixed issue with with the locator no longer showing the name of the gear being searched. I don't remember that. I didn't even know about that to be honest. I guess it's like some people, right? Um, fixed issue where Beast Boy would trigger issues with autoplay and speed options during battles. Also, we have fixed issue where Beast Boy would lose some of his health after transfer. See, that happened. Oh, I didn't even know. I really got. I got to pay attention to the Discord for DC. I don't know why I don't do anything on the Discord. I, I really should get into like I should be more active in the Discord. But like, I don't. Not that I don't want to. It's just like I don't. I kind of keep to myself. But like that's that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that Discord and stuff. Maybe I'll maybe get into it. Who knows? Fix UI issue where sometimes the top of the screen will remain lit up. Um, is like brighter? Is that what I mean? Lit up? Interesting. But at least he fixed it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have to cover for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think of this update in the comments down below. What do you guys think of Bane, King Shark, and Scarecrow coming to the game? Most importantly, I think. That is a great, like, this is a great addition. Like, those three, like, this is sick, all right? Like, first off, again, like, I predicted this. Like, I, I'm not, like, I don't want to take any credit here, but, like, I literally said it in the last video, or two videos ago. I was like, yo, Bane would be sick in the game. I don't know what he would do. I gave some ideas. I forget which one which. But I said if he was the first villain character out of the, the list I mentioned, it would be him. It would honestly be him. I'm telling you now. His color is either purple or green. Probably green because of his venom. I am 95% sure it's green. And like, listen, if it is green, I want you to go... Like, when that video comes out, when I get him, because I definitely will. Like that video, all right? Like that video. And Because, listen, I'm telling you, he's green. I promise you. Scarecrow, yellow or purple, 100%. I just... Come on now. King Shark? Um, I think he'd be blue. Honestly blue or red if they're feeling like i don't know just ambitious but i feel like blue or or green but i don't think it'd be green i think it'd be blue most likely but yeah that pretty much is it let me know what you guys think of this whole update in the comments section below that being said my name is lc i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you all later